Okay, bloggers, so you've probably seen this message in your WordPress dashboard recently. This came out with the most recent, as of August 2018, WordPress update, and it's preparing you, allowing you to install Gutenberg. Obviously, there's a big blue button, try the new editor today, you install that, it will actually install a Gutenberg plugin, which I have right here. You will see, Gutenberg. This will be part of WordPress by default in the next huge major WordPress update. But you're probably asking, can I stay with the old editor? Do I have to update to Gutenberg? Yes and no. So yes, Gutenberg will be the default going forward whenever we reach that WordPress update, whenever it is. But you can actually install a separate plugin. It's called Classic Editor. And it will allow you to revert to the old way of doing things. It will. I can't recommend you do that. I would say stick with WordPress. They know what they're doing. Once it's released, hopefully it'll have less bugs. But if you do want to stay with the classic editor, you'll click that. You can see it already installed the plugin after I clicked it just now. Click activate and you should be able to keep using the classic editor. That's it. Again, in the next couple of videos, I'll walk you through why you may or may not want to do that in the future once Gutenberg is the default editor. But for right now, you just need to know if you end up hating it, even after using it for several blog posts or whatever, you can install Classic Editor. I believe that's literally the name of it and continue using the old version of the WordPress editor. It's called Classic Editor. Again, okay, let's move on.